Hi everyone, my name is Frances. Welcome to DLR Library Storytime. Today we'll be reading Finn's first song, A Whaley Big Adventure. It's written and illustrated by Jerry Daly and thanks to the O'Brien Press for allowing us to read this today. So in this story, Finn takes a journey to the Irish coast and some exciting things happen along the way. Far away on the glistening ocean, an amazing journey began. Finn was swimming all the way to the Irish coast with Mum. Will Dad be there? asked Finn. Oh yes, said Mum, and lots of tasty food too. Finn loved to hear his dad's magical songs rumble and roll across the huge ocean. Dad could make far away feel very near. On their journey, Finn loved to jump into the air, to splash the biggest splash, to blow up to the sky, and to hide, well, sort of. Each night beneath the whoosh of the waves, Finn drifted off to sleep, listening to Dad's distant song. My mum and dad are the biggest in the world, he whispered, but sometimes, there were much bigger things. Beep! Chug, chug, chug. Bam! Boom, boom! Finn hid under Mum's flipper as she tried to guide him away. The ships were so loud, Finn was afraid. He looked all around, but he couldn't see Mum anywhere. He was alone. Oh, I do not like this, he thought. Then Finn saw some other sea creatures. Maybe they could help. Hello everyone. I am lost, said Finn. I can't find my mum or hear my dad. What should I do? Can you send a message? Asked a clever octopus as she wriggled her curly tentacles. I don't know how, Finn sniffed. Watch us, she said. We all have different ways. I can squirt ink to send a message, said the octopus. So he shook and he shook, but no matter how much, Finn just could not squirt ink. Next, an electric ray said, I can make electricity. Finn wibbled and wobbled, but it would not work. Instead, he made a surprise little sound. We change our colour, said the squids. We can be red, then orange, then blue. Can you? Finn tried to change colour using yellow sponges and some kelp. This is no good either, he moaned. How can I send a message? We twinkle our lights, said lots of crystal jellyfish. He pushed and he wriggled. He squeezed his eyes tight. He flapped his flippers and waggled his tail. But Finn had no lights. Instead, he made another funny sound. We can click, said the seahorses. We like to whistle, said a pod of dolphins. Finn listened patiently. They were all amazed when he made a very different sound. Whoop! Whoop. We make ourselves bigger, said the puffer fish. Well, Finn could easily look absolutely huge. Now he made another sound, which he really liked. At last, Finn knew what he could do. He started to sing his first whale song. Squeak! Whoop! 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 Wow, that's really great, said all the other sea creatures. Finn sang for as long as and as loud as he could. His song went far, far across the ocean. Then 
something very big was very close. It was Mum. I heard you, Finn. She cheers. You're a great singer. Stay beside me now, we're nearly there. A happy whale loves to splash and Finn made the biggest splash ever. He thanked his new friends for all their help. For another day and night, they swam together side by side. Close to mum, Finn wasn't afraid anymore. He liked to sing his song. Squeak! Doop, 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 doop. Soon dad could hear him too, and dad always sang back. Doop, doop, doop. At last they arrived at the coast of Ireland, where they filled their massive mouths with tons of tiny fish. And there was dad. They sang the biggest whale song together. And their whale song carried far, far across the huge ocean. Thanks for listening, everyone. We'll see you next time. Bye.